Hi everyone! Today, we are going to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers without and with remainder. Before we start our lesson, let us define division. Division is the process of breaking a number up into equal parts and finding out how many equal parts can be made. Division is represented by these symbols. Let's have this equation. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Remember, when dividing numbers, the number that is being divided is called dividend. The number which shows how many groups the dividend will be divided into is called divisor. And finally, the number that you end up with is called quotient. To begin with, let's have this problem as an example. Axel celebrated his ninth birthday. He invited his 144 schoolmates. If he was able to print 9 invitation cards per hour, how many hours did he spend printing his invitation cards? Based from the problem, the given numbers are 144 and 9. How many hours did he spend printing his invitation cards is being asked in the problem. Therefore, we are going to divide 144 by 9. First step, divide the first partial dividend by the divisor. 14 divided by 9 is equal to 1. Write the quotient above the tens place. So we are going to write 1 above 14. Multiply the quotient 1 by the divisor. 1 times 9 is equal to 9. Write the product 9 under the 14 tenths. Subtract 9 from 14. 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. Write 5 under the tenths place. Bring down the ones digit. So we are going to bring down 4. Divide the new dividend by the divisor. 54 divided by 9 is equal to 6. Write the quotient 6 above the 1's place. Multiply the quotient by the divisor. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. Write the product 54 under 54 tenths. Subtract 54 from 54. 54 minus 54 is equal to 0. Therefore, 16 is the answer. Axel spent 16 hours printing his birthday invitation cards. To check if our answer is correct, we need to multiply the quotient by the divisor. The product must be equal to the dividend. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. 9 times 1 is equal to 9. Plus 5 is equal to 14. The answer is 144. Therefore, our quotient is correct. Let's have another example. 
Lowell was invited to attend Axel's birthday. He thought of giving a gift made from bottle cups to make a vase mat. He collected 145 bottle cups and used 8 bottle cups for vase mat. How many extra bottle cups are there? As you can see, the given numbers are 145 and 8. How many extra bottle cups are there is being asked in the problem. Now, we are going to divide 145 by 8. Divide the first partial dividend by the divisor. 14 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Write the quotient 1 above the tens place. Multiply the quotient 1 by the divisor. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Write the product 8 under the 14 tens. Subtract 8 from 14. 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. Write 6 under the tens, please. Bring down the ones digit. Divide the new dividend by the divisor. 65 divided by 8 is equal to 8. Write the quotient 8 above the ones, please. Multiply the quotient by the divisor. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Write the product 64 under 65 tenths. Subtract 64 from 65. 65 minus 64 is equal to 1. One is called remainder. Write one above the quotient as a remainder. Our quotient is 18 remainder 1. Therefore, our final answer is there is one extra bottle cup. To check if our answer is correct, we need to multiply the quotient by the divisor. Therefore, we are going to multiply 18 by 8. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Plus 6 is equal to 14. Our product is 144. Next, we need to add 1 to the product. 144 plus 1 is equal to 145. Therefore, our quotient is correct. The product and the dividend are now the same. Remember, in dividing 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers with and without remainder, the following steps will be followed. Estimate whether the first to highest place value is divisible by the 2 digit divisor. Divide starting from thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Multiply, subtract, and bring down until all digits are used. Write the remainder if there is any. For your last activity, let's have this one. Directions. Write the correct answers in your notebook. I will give you 5 minutes to answer.
Let us now answer. Number one, what is the quotient if 450 is divided by 5? The answer is A, 90. Number two, divide 3,456 by 7. The quotient is letter D. 493 remainder 5 Number 3 Find the quotient 4532 divided by 25 is equal to N Letter C 181 remainder 7 Number 4 What is N in 250 divided by 10 is equal to N. The answer is B, 25. And last, number 5. If 6,000 divided by 1,000, what is the answer? The correct answer is letter C, 6. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching everyone. See you again next video lesson.